Hello, Blake Rudis here with F64academy.com and F64elite.com. And today I want to introduce you to our newest creation, my panel. And I'm going to share with you my top three favorite features of this brand new panel that we've created that I think you're really going to love because it empowers you with the ability to create your own panel. Yes, we're providing you with an empty panel waiting for you to fill it. All right, so my panel is actually an empty panel. It comes with three sections that have 10 buttons in each section for a total of 30 empty buttons. And this is my first favorite feature. My panel gives you the ability to populate this panel with any actions that you might have in your actions folder. Now we all know that the actions folder is very convoluted. All right, let's just go ahead and take a look at it. I'm actually gonna pull, this is my panel. I'm gonna pull my panel off to the side right here. I'm gonna open up my actions folder here and just kind of show you what this looks like. So this is what my actions folder looks like. It's very difficult to organize this thing and make it so that you can actually work with it. So Photoshop has this thing called button mode, right? Well, you put button mode on and you think that that's gonna make things easier and it makes it harder because they're all just thrown into this thing. All right, and, and you can't make heads from tails as to what set of actions were with what set. So I don't think button mode's very good and that's why Tony and I created my panel. Now we've created other panels together. Those are all panels that have a predetermined set of buttons in them and you can't change those. But my panel comes as an empty shell. All of these buttons when you first get my panel will be empty. So the magic of my panel comes with filling these sections. These sections are 100% customizable. You can rename them to anything you want. I can call this landscape. If I want, I can call this landscape effects. And then I can call this landscape selections. Whatever you wanna call these folders, you can call these sections. These sections speak to a folder right here in your actions panel. So if you look at this right now, I've got these folders here that I say my PS1 through 10, my PS11 through 20, my PS21 through 30, and then my PS1 landscape. So section one reads my PS1, section two, my PS2, section three, my PS3. So the beauty of this is that you can have many different panels kind of running at the same time that are all organized right here within your actions, okay? So you don't get multiple my panels that end up convoluting your Photoshop. What happens here is if you wanna switch over from a landscape workflow to a portrait workflow, you'll just grab this series of folders right here and move them above all the rest of your my PS. And then when you hover over, it automatically populates all these buttons with what would be your portrait workflow. Now these are just portrait, it just says portrait panel one through 10 here, and then 12, 11 through 20 and then 21 through 30. These are just placeholders, but you can imagine if you're working on a landscape image, you can say, you know what? I need my landscape. I'm going to bring this up to the top and boom, you hover over and in real time, all of these actions that are in these folders will populate these buttons like that. So if we look right here at the nightscape, I could select the top folder, press and hold shift, and then drag this above these ones. And then here I'd automatically be in my nightscape workflow. Now these sections don't change the name based on the folders over here, but they will tell you right here. This one's reading my PS2 Nightscape. One of the things that I would suggest if you're making and you want to flip them on the fly, I would suggest this just be the effects. Maybe this is selections. And then this could be like other. Now, here's the really cool thing. Right here, I've got a full set of actions that are already populated that come with the My Panel Premium Edition. These are the LumaGlow actions, and I'll bring them up to the top. Now, watch this as I hover over the panel. Boom! Every action that is in these folders is now populating on the panel. Pretty cool how that works, right? So basically, you build an action, you put that action in one of these folders. You can mix and match and move these actions whenever you want. So right now, this one says relative glow right here. If I move this down to here and then come over to the panel, it's, it's automatically going to populate that difference in the buttons on the fly. Now, there are 10 actions per folder, but if you put 11 actions in there or 12 actions or 13 actions, it doesn't necessarily matter. It's only going to read those first 10 and populate the first 10 in that given section. So it's really powerful what you could do by creating your own panel. Think about this. I create panels. I've got some buddies in the industry that create panels, but you might look at one of our panels and say, I really wish they would incorporate this action that I have into this panel. Well, now you can create your own panel with your own series of actions. Or let's say you downloaded all my actions that I've ever produced over the series of the last 10 years on my YouTube channel. And you would like, I want a Blake Rudis panel made from the actions that I've collected. Well, you can grab those and put them into these, my PS one, two, and three full 
folders and be creating your very own panel that has all the actions that I've ever produced. Or you could be like, hey, I like what Blake does. I like what Matt Klaskowski does. I like what Jim does and smash all of us together and create a panel from all of your Photoshop educator heroes that you watch here on YouTube. You could be collecting all the actions that you have and putting them into a concise workflow that works for you. Or if you're the type of person that likes to dabble with actions and create your own actions, this can be a great place to take all of your experiments and turn them into an actual an actual workable panel that you can create for your workflow. So that's the first thing that I like about my panel. It's a lot of things that I like about my panel. That's the ability to create your own panel. The reason why I think that's so important is because for three years, I was trying to develop my own panel long before I ever developed my first panel. And I had to learn CSS, HTML, JavaScript, and even how to build proper actions so that they would work on any language of Photoshop. And it's, it's, a, it's a mess. It's a nightmare if you try to create your own panel. Most For most people, it will never happen. Most people will never have their own custom panel that they've built from scratch. So that's why we created my panel so that you can create your very own panel. The second thing that I absolutely love about this panel is when you flip over onto the other side, this is the save and watermarking section. So I'm just going to move this over here and then move my panel back over here. This smart resize section is great for resizing your images really quickly in Photoshop. It duplicates all of your work so that you don't have to worry about losing any of your work when you resize your image. We have a save section here that is much easier to save your photograph than it is in the Photoshop natively. So you can resize your image here and save that image anywhere you want. And you can even tell it what folder you want right here from the same save image dialog and change the file name all right here very quickly and very easily. There's also a batch resizing function here that works very well with this watermarking function. Now, I'm not a huge fan of watermarking my photographs, but, but there are instances where it's necessary for me to watermark my photographs and I usually forget to do it. But now I've got my panel and I've got my watermark embedded into my panel. So at any time I can press the apply button here and be watermarking my photographs if I'm uploading to the internet or maybe giving those images to a client. You can also batch resize and batch watermark an entire set of images that's in a folder in your computer. So you can press batch resize and batch watermark, go grab a cup of coffee, come back and upload your images to the web or whatever social media platform you choose. Kind of the icing on the cake here. My third favorite feature here is right here in the preferences. There's a section here that says back up your actions now. So if you've ever transferred from one version of Photoshop to another version of Photoshop or one computer, to another computer and you wanted all of your actions to come over, you know how much of a nightmare that can be. Well, right here in the My Panel, we have a button that says Backup Now. You can back up your actions into the Actions Palette and then put that Actions Palette into the newer version of Photoshop or into the other computer and all of the actions that you had in your Actions folder will now be accessible in that new version of Photoshop or that other computer that doesn't have all the actions that you have in your primary working computer. This feature right here, while it is kind of just the icing on the cake, is awesome. So with my panel, you can actually have your cake and eat it too. Okay. We have developed a panel here that allows you to build your own panel just by organizing your actions folder. So while you're getting your messy, nasty actions folder organized, you could also be building your own custom panel right now today. So if building a custom panel is something that you're interested, in, click the card above that will take you to our information page where you can learn more about my panel. If you don't see the card above, look at the link in the description below, and that will also take you to our information page. We've been working on this panel for several months and we are very excited for it to be released to the public. And we can't wait to see what you produce for your workflow with my panel. Again, my name is Blake Rudis with F64academy.com and F64elite.com. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. I sincerely appreciate it. And like it, comment, and share, and you know, share some ideas in the comments feed about things that you would like to do with my panel or tell people about what you're creating with my panel. Have a great day.